Armenian culture and law do not recognize the concept of same-sex marriages. This is according to the Solicitor General of India. Okay. Despite the Supreme Court decriminalizing homosexuality in India, same-sex ma marriage is still not allowed. A public suit filed earlier this week urged to issue a declaration to the effect that since Section 5 of the Hindu Marriage Act of 1956 does not distinguish between homosexual and heterosexual couples, the right to same-sex couples to marry should be recognized. Section 5 of the Act clearly lays down that marriage can be performed between, quote, any two Hindus. Solicitor General of India, uh, Tushar Mehta, uh, has opposed the petition by arguing that Indian culture and law doesn't recognize the concept of same-sex marriages. Then change your fucking culture! <laughs> A lot of cultures didn't recognize the concept of the earth going around the sun or the fact mm. that there were germs or the men's role in fatherhood. But guess what? They changed. They recognized it. They grew and they learned. It's mm -hmm. not static. Things change. Exactly. Be better, India. If your culture does not recognize the concept of same-sex marriage, then you get you can change that. Culture does not have to remain the same. You could be better. You could be better, India. I believe in you, India. You could do better. You could be better. You could actually progress and do change. It's possible. You don't have to be. You don't have to go backwards. You could actually go forwards. Okay, but go. Yeah, um, so I'm really excited about this um, petition that has been, or it's um, a public interest litigation that was filed in the Delhi High Court fighting for same-sex marriage in India. I'm going to be really curious to see how this um, goes forward. Um, obviously, we just heard some of the arguments against it, um, but... Uh, Currently, Indian law just sees members of the LGBT community as individuals and not as couples. So the plea raised the issue that denying the LGBT community the option to marry is absolutely discriminatory and treats them as second class citizens. Um, obviously, homosexual couples should have the same benefits uh, to be enjoyed as heterosexual married couples, the petition said. Um, and what I find so interesting about this Hindu Marriage Act is that it says it, there's nothing in it that says that marriage is defined between a man and a woman. It just says that it's defined as between any two Hindus. So under the theoretical, I'm not familiar enough with this law um, and how it applies to people outside of the Hindu faith, but say, for example, they were to go through this litigation and say, oh, you're right, because of the phrasing of the law as any two Hindus, that means that you can have same-sex marriage. Does that mean that same-sex marriage will only be available to Hindu gay couples, right, if this is under the Hindu Marriage Act? Um, that's one thing I'm still trying to do more research on um, because that would also be discriminatory. Oh, and we just got a super chat, chat $5 by Doug Casey. Thank you, Doug. We appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so do you guys have any more commentary before I go through some of my other thoughts? There's a... Objective reality says that under the current legislation, if they recognize the same-sex marriage, it would only apply to Hindus, mm. according mm. to this person's take on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I wonder. Yeah, objective reality is from India, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah, it's. I thought. I thought so. Yeah. Oh, Arjun is saying it should not just change. Hinduism should also be eliminated here. It, it, it should be eliminated as a, as a way of life, but it should not be eliminated. As, it could still be there as culture. I mean, I'm okay with that being as culture and tradition and art and mythology and food and all of that. You could say, okay, but it should, yes, it should be eliminated as a way of life. <laughs> we got another super chat. Ooh, super chat. Okay, here. By the cult breaker, two Canadian dollars. Thank you, cult breaker. <laughs> what if oh. he looks like Callie? Hashtag gay for Armin. 
It, no, if she looks like Hallie, then it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's gay for you, dude. It's <laughs> I can't help it. I'm straight, okay? I wish I was bi. I just can't help it, okay? Straight do not do not straight shame me. Do not straight shame me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But oh. here's the thing. Actually, when it comes to Callie, by the way, actually, thank you so much for the two Canadian dollar super chat, uh, the cult breaker. But... Um, Susanna was mentioning because our next art is coming up and it's going to be Kelly and Sita, Sita making out. And Susanna was like, so good. Yeah. You like to join so them. Yes. I'm so excited. So Susanna was mentioning, why don't we use this as an opportunity to promote, um, you know, same sex marriage in India as well. So she was like, put a ring, a wedding ring on Sita and Kelly. And I was fighting with Susanna on this. We were arguing against each other. I was like, no, we can't put a ring on them because they're both married and this is getting too far away from the source material, right? The goddess Kelly, she's married to Vishnu, right? Shiva. Shiva. Shiva, sorry. They all, okay. And Sita is married to Ram, right? Mm -hmm. Um... And it would be too much of a deviation from the source material if they both got divorced and now they're getting married to each other. So to me, in my adultery? no, yeah, they just no, it's not <laughs> no, it's not adultery. It, it's it's like they're they're just having fun on the side. They're just getting they're no, married woman, but married. It's called adultery. Okay, then I promote adultery. I, I guess adultery is like a negative. Um, it doesn't have of, to be, but a lot of yeah, people okay. see it that way. I mean, for example, you can go to jail in a lot of countries. Mm -hmm. for, for example, Morocco, mm -hmm. even, you know. I don't know. I don't think Callie and Sita are married. I just think that she's getting too much away from this tr story. Like, like how are, They're yeah, just but, friends with benefits. <laughs> yeah. If, if Armin is not going to, because we, we were fighting on this. Um, oh. It was it was so rude. <laughs> uh, the, I, I was fighting for the the wedding rings as a symbol of support for same sex marriage in India. But at the bare minimum, we're going to have to throw a rainbow flag in there if yes. Armin refuses the wedding rings. So leave your comments below about what you think would be better. Yeah, but no, yeah, I think the rainbow flag. We could put the rainbow flag somewhere uh, in the design, but. I don't think. Oh, here, Harsh is saying Ram kicked S S Sita out. I know he did, but they never got divorced. I know that story. Ram kicked Sita out, though, because duty to the kingdom or people or something is above everything. By the way, Sita was pregnant with Ram's twin when she was kicked out. Yes, but they're still married. They're still husband and wife. So again, I don't know how how legal. I don't know how. Marriage contract works within God, yeah. um, <laughs> but I don't think you could get married to someone else while you're still married to another God. But again, maybe like I don't know, maybe the legal, the legal, you know, standards are different with gods than than mere mortals, right? Here, yeah, uh, it was pretty interesting because um, on Twitter I saw a bunch of threads of people talking about how homosexuality is. Um, promoted or accepted in Indian culture or in Hindu myth. Right. Right. Which I thought was interesting. That's not something I'm as familiar with. But then I was thinking, because I was going to research that to go into this article, but then I was thinking like, wait, our basis for allowing this to happen should not be whether or not it was previously accepted in Hindu myth or not. Right. It should be because like we should be afforded these rights um, regardless of any cultural precedent. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. We put the ring. Okay, if people if people support the side Susanna's idea, we'll put the ring on them. The story will be that they got divorced. They left their oppressive. Ma I mean, Shiva was not oppressive, to be fair. Okay, Ram was oppressive. Ram was like, "Get the fuck out of here." I don't care if you like. He kicked her out of the house, but Shiva was like, "God, you're so like you 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 like you're uh, come step you're on me." You're standing on my chest. Yeah, come step <laughs> on my chest, like you calm down. So he was not oppressive. He was like, "Stop the beheadings." 
come, I'll, I'll make you chill out. Here, have a snicker. You're not yourself. Like something like that happened, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so that happened. So Shiva, I don't think it's fair for, I don't think it's fair for Kelly to divorce Shiva. She was pretty nice to him. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. He's the destroyer, and so is she. So, you know, I don't know. They kind of. Yeah, they're a good together. match. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, gods could have multiple husbands and wives. I don't know. I know when you were giving me when you were giving me grief about this, I was like, "It's a fictional character. We can do what we want. We I can think do whatever do, though, we want." Yeah. And sometimes, yeah. like for example, Ganesh, you know, he gets his head cut off, and then they replace it with an elephant, and now he's a god. So, like, who cares, right? Right. And he rides on a rat. He has a rat that you know. I mean, really, okay, he's fine. an elephant. We'll put a ring. We'll put a ring on it. We'll put a ring on both of them. They're married. If you They're like married. it, put a ring on. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't be, we're gonna get a copyright strike if you if you sing it too well. I didn't sing. Uh, I can't yeah. sing. Yeah. We have to uh, come up with some Old Testament characters too to do this with. Yeah. Well, I'm all ears. I'm trying. Yeah. I've been thinking of it. I'll keep thinking. Okay. Keep thinking. Okay. 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 I feel like Ruth uh, was really gay. Who? Wait. Who? I'm trying to. Uh, <sighs> Never mind. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so. Yes. So I'm going to not do the clap. No clapping for the next news because it involves the big itch. The big oh, yeah. itch is coming up. So no oh. clapping and no pointing. I'm just going to be like. Are there we moving are... on? Many, there are too many big words in this news, so I'm just gonna have to say the big words. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to say naughty, naughty but words what? that you can, you can refer to. You can refer to the bad people from Germany as the Axis powers, and the other ones as the Allied powers. That would work. Mm. Instead of trying to come up with all kinds of euphemisms. Um, I, I mean, it's too take the bullet on this one. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to use the naughty words that YouTube doesn't like us to use. So please, 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 if you're watching this on YouTube, please share these videos so that all the video again, it's not demonetization because these videos get demonetized anyways, but it's the suppression of the videos that we care about because our channel can't grow because of the naughty words that we use. So to out to undo all the suppression of the videos by the algorithm because of the naughty words that we use please share these videos so it basically triggers the algorithm to help us grow okay anyways news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 